Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mario back again with our YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to become an effective Ethermon trainer. You can train your Ethermon guys, you can level them up, uh, and so you can fight them uh, and, and, and kind of grow them and evolve them over time. But if you grow them, if you train them uh, and, and level them up to a certain level, you could actually sell them for a higher value, for a higher price at the OpenSea uh, NFT marketplace. As a reminder, guys, Ethermons are NFTs, which you can collect and you can sell at OpenSea. And again, you could sell them for Ethereum. You could sell them for other uh, tokens like mana and other stuff. Uh, and of course, you can convert that to US dollars, guys. So in this video, guys, I'm going to teach you how to do that, guys, how to build them up. Uh, and again, if you have any questions, don't forget to ask me down below in the YouTube comments. And again, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe down below to the YouTube channel. Uh, let me share my screen and let's get started, okay? All right. So what I'm going to do, guys, I am going to share my screen really quickly. Uh, so uh, you guys can see uh, how, to, uh, how to get started on training these uh, Ethermons. Now, of course, the website you go to, uh, of course, log into the Ethermon platform is this ethermon.io. Uh, you need to be already logged into your MetaMask in order for you to uh, log in. I'm already logged into my MetaMask. It's actually right here. Uh, so I'm already connected right here. So once I click on login uh, and click the MetaMask, I should be able to log in. Uh, and then all I did to do is sign in. So once I'm signed in, um, I pretty much, this where, where you could find your collection of Ethermon are actually here in there where you see my collection. These are all the Ethermon that I have collected already over time. I actually got this Ethermon because I won several bot battles. So what I'm going to cover is how to train these Ethermon uh, so level them up. So you can see this Ethermon right here is level one, level one. This is level six right here, uh, and this is level 20. Now, one thing I want to mention, guys, this is very important. When you want to train these Ethermon and then you want to also sell them on, uh, on the open sea, uh, uh, NFT website, you want to make sure that you get the Matic ones uh, because these are Matic ones, Matic Ethermons, for example, this one right here, uh, you could actually sell them on, on, on OpenSea. Is there a seat? So sell my Matic Ethermon OpenSea. Now, the, when you first start, when you first open up a Ethermon account, you do get free, three free Pokemon, I mean, excuse me, three free Ethereum, you get Mental, Kyrie, and Elmon. And these are off-chain Ethermons, so you cannot really sell them. You cannot transfer them out outside of uh, this uh, website. So uh, the, these off-chain Mons, which lives in our server, so because these, these uh, Mons only live in their server, in the Ethermon server, you cannot sell them on, on OpenSea. So you want to keep that in mind, guys. Now, to battle them, to train them, to train them, you pretty much have to battle them. Um, and again, I recommend you guys, uh, of course, of course, when you first start it. And actually, one thing I want to mention is um, to get some free uh, a Matic, uh, to get free Matic uh, Ethermons, you want to go right here on the uh, official store and you click on which one you want of these. And when you click on them, um, of course, you want to click on catch. And then once you catch them, you should be able to see them on your collection right here. I've caught several on there because they're free. Um, and my, my job right now is to try to train them to level them up. And I do that by battling them. So what you want to do when you click on battle and, and, and you click on the ladder one, because the ladder one is from level one to 30 only, you want to uh, create a, a team. So you want to click on where it says form a team. Now I've already leveled up some, uh, some, some uh, ether mods already. I've actually leveled up this one right here. This is a Hamprisk. It's level 18 already. So I'm gonna add this one. I've also leveled up this, uh, this one right here. This is a Snobbit. Uh, I already leveled this one up too. And uh, let me see whether once I could, I could level up. Now, since I already got one of each, uh, it doesn't allow, allow me to use another one another of those. Uh, now I just recently got this uh, this 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 Ethermon right here. Uh, now this is an off-chain Ethermon, uh, so I kind of have to either choose this one or choose this one. 
since I kind of want to win battles, I kind of are, I'm going to be forced to choose this one uh, because it's already a level 20. And I mean, I want to win battles. The more battles I win, the better for me. So I'm going to click on this one already here, right here. Uh, and so it's going to battle. Now, these right here, uh, these, what this does, it allows you to, uh, what do you call, uh, they, they're kind of like, uh, they're, they're, they're ethermons, they, they offer support. Um, and, and pretty much because they're in the same type of uh, elements, they, they could support each other. And I believe, let me see if I could add this one. Let's see if I could add this one to this one. Yes, I believe I could add this one. So once I kind of, you know, I keep my, I choose my battling uh, ethermon, then I choose my support team. Uh, these support team help, you know, strengthen the, the these ethermons during battle. You want to click on form team. It does cost four energy to consume uh, to to uh, form a team, uh, but once you click form, now you have your team. Um, and then, of course, you want to do is you want to battle. So what you do is you select opponent right here. Um, I always what I like to do is go for the lowest level opponents, the easy opponents, and then uh, go from there. So right now, um, actually, this one's uh, pretty low, but uh, actually, I'm going to go with this one right here. I think this is a better fit, and we'll see. And then, of course, select the opponent, opponent, and then you battle them. So, all right. So let's see what happens. So I'm going to start the battle. Um, now, um, as you guys can see in terms of the battling, it's, it's very 2D. Uh, but right in, in the moment, I'm going to show you guys how you could battle them on the central land on the 3D way and, 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 and in more details on how to do that. Uh, so let me now to kind of um, forward this fight and complete this fight sooner. All you have to do is click end. And once you click end, it should tell you who won. Now he won. So he's victorious. So he, they took some points off of me, but I still gain experience points and experience points allows me to grow my ethermon and level them up. And that's the most important thing. You know, you want to battle, the more you battle, the more experience points you get, the more experience points you get, the higher the level goes up. So that's technically pretty much how you train them. Now, um, now in terms of uh, selling them on OpenSea, the way to do it is pretty much this way. Uh, now, I already have an OpenSea account. Um, so I've already opened it up. Now, one thing I want to make sure, guys, is for you guys who have several, uh, several, uh, 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 several MetaMask accounts, you want to make sure that you're using the same MetaMask account that you use to log in to this uh, to your Ethermon. So you want to make sure you're using the same uh, MetaMask uh, account. So once you have that, of course, you want to go to OpenSea. And you want to log in with the same, again, the same, uh, the same uh, MetaMask, the, the same uh, account. So right now, this is the same account. See if it's going to notice this. This is the same, uh, same account that I'm actually using for this, uh, for this right here. Uh, so once you're logged in, all on, on OpenSea, all your, all your uh, Ethermont NFTs should show up. And again, because these are Matic ones, uh, these are the ones that showed up. Now, the ones that are not Matic, the ones that are off, off chain, they don't, don't show up here. So that's the reason why you want to train the Matic ones, the ones that, 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 that do show up here. So if you guys can see, uh, pretty much the same ones that I have here um, are pretty much, again, actually, this is an off chain one. So, so those same ones that I have that are Matic, they're pretty much here. So if you can see, for example, Rabbit, uh, you'll find rabbit right here. See, same ones, same, um, same, pretty much. If you look at, uh, if you look at the mon ID, for example, on rabbit is sixty nine six ten, and if you click on rabbit, you should be able to see the same um, ID number. Let me see, where is it? Properties, uh, stats. Uh, where is it? Where is it? details? Yep, here it is, sixty nine ten. See, token ID, and see that. Mon ID 69610, 69610. So there you go, guys. Now, one thing I want to mention, guys. Uh, so 
if you want to sell, for example, this, this Ethermon, um, all you have to do is click sell. But one thing I want to mention, guys, in terms of levels, uh, and this is something that I just uh, literally learned recently. So if you guys can see right here, off-chain level is pretty much the level that you could build on here um, during battling in this uh, in, in this uh, in their in their in their off-chain battle zone, which is right here. And then you'll see right here that then there's a on-chain on-chain level. On-chain level is pretty much when you're building and battling your Ethermon on the central land. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you guys right now, how to battle them on the central land. So let me go back to the Ethermon website. And what I'm going to do right now, I am going to go to the 3D battle in the wild, example one, and I'm going to click it. And this should take me straight to the central land. As a reminder, guys, always again, use the same MetaMax account. So I got to make sure when I log into the central land that I'm using the same MetaMax account that I use to log into Ethermon and then to log into OpenSea. Because uh, I, I do have several MetaMax accounts. So I've, I've gotten confused and things like that. And it took me a while to kind of get this. Uh, and one thing in terms of a uh, trick is to make sure that once you guys download your, your MetaMask account, make sure that you pin it, you know, and you pin it by clicking right here in this, in this little mask right here and you click right here and then you, you click on a pin. And once you pin it, this little face should show up right here. And this will allow you to kind of move back and forth uh, from different uh, MetaMask accounts. See right here, this is the pin number right here. This is the pin right here. So once you click on that, you want to click some on play. And of course, log into MetaMask. And it should show up right here again. And as you guys can see, see Ethermon, same, same account. Um, and then click sign in. And it should take me straight to the, uh, the, the central land 3D battle zone. Now, this is the off, excuse me, this is the on chain leveling on-chain experience. Um, and again, I'm gonna go back to, for example, this, this, these, uh, this Ethermon right here. Um, see right here, it says level, actually, you know what? I wanna show you guys the Ethermon that I've been building up right here. So I've been recently building up the one that I've been fighting on the Ethermon battle website is actually this one, Hamster. And as you guys can see, in terms of the levels, you'll see where it says uh, off-chain level 18. And again, this coincides with the off-chain level right here. See this at level 18. Now this, the hamstrip and Snob and Omna, this is, this is not their name that I give them. This is the, the type of, of Ethermon they're, they're, they, they are. Uh, so again, this is level 18. So this one right here that I'm building up is pretty much um, this one right here. And I called it, I named it in Hamster. So again, like I said, off-chain uh, level is 18 out of 100. Now on-chain on -chain level is one. So if I want to build my Ethermon on the on-chain or in a 3D, the central land, what I have to do, I have to start battling them here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find, let's see if I can find hamsters. So let me see if I can find them. And the way to do it now, this is actually, this is, this is one of my, the way you know, which actually, the way you determine which, which of these is your ethermont is by this little, this little uh, arrow or white little triangle on top of their head. That's how you know this is your, your, your ethermont. Um, and it's actually kind of simple to, for them, if you want them to, if you want them to follow you, all you have to do is click right here and then they'll stop following you. See where it says, see how it says following on top. And then you kind of walk around, it will start following you. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to see now, I'm going to switch to my other, uh, other Ethermon. And the way to do that is you, and you click right here on your Ethermon little tab right here. And once you click on here, there you go. The other uh, monsters to show up. So you'll see, hey, see here you see hamster. Hamster is right here. 
I click on, on hamster and you should show up pretty soon. So right now it's kind of loading. Let's let it, let it actually, let me make sure that I have it right here. And again, I'm gonna click on this again. Now, just to let you guys know, sometimes this could be slow and I am recording this video. So that could be another reason why this is even more slow. So let me uh, select hamster. Come on. Now it is kind of like, there you go. I'm gonna go, go to hamster. Give me hamster, let me see hamster. There it is. Finally, it took a while. Now, again, like I said, guys, it is kind of slow. This system is slow. It does take time for it to kind of load up. So you kind of, like, it should be right here. It should be this one right here. And actually, I'm going to have him follow me. There you go. See it? There is hamster right there. Let me change the view so you guys can see him. See, that's hamster. So hamster, again, this NFT could also live in the 3D world, the central land. This hamster right here is the same hamster right here. This one right here. And it's the same one. And again, this is an open seat, which I could actually sell. I could actually click sell and sell this right here. Sell this one right here. And here, this is one right here. This is on the Ethermon website where I'm battling and I'm training them. So they see this level 18 off chain, meaning this only exists on their server. And here on the central line, this is on chain, which exists. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Which exists on their server. Uh, actually, on the central line server is right here. So if I want to level up, what I have to do is I have to battle it. So how do I battle it? To battle it, I have to pretty much choose one of these characters right here. Uh, and I kind of want to see what the level is first. So if I click on these Ethermon right here, uh, there's this one is level two. Let me see. This might be a good one. What's this level eight? That's too high. Let me see what this one is. See what this one is. I'm looking for one that's level one, so it's more my level. Let me actually, it's not the right person. I'm gonna choose which one I'm gonna battle. This was level two, so I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna attack this one. See where it says attack? If you wanna battle here in the 3D world, all you have to do is click attack. There you go. So now they're gonna start fighting. So as you guys can see, actually, let me get out of here. They're now they're battling right here. So now you want, you could do is you could strike, you could claw strike, you know? So see, that was a, that was a, a hit. Now I'm going to hit him back. Boom. So I got him right there. And it's, here on top, it should tell you what's going on. See, that's me right there that I shot that that throw right there. Now he's gonna hit me. Uh, I don't know exactly sure what that is, but I'm gonna do, let's see, I'm gonna do a rock throw. Okay, so I've been wanting to do that right now. And I'm also gonna do a strike. Boom. So I got him a strike. Uh, let me see if I could do this double damage one. So I'm going to see if I can do this double damage. Uh, I'm going to do the, the strike again. All right, so I got the strike. Nice. He's hitting me. I'm hitting him. And in terms of when the fight ends, um, I believe until I've, I've pretty much exhausted all my energy. That's what I notice when this fight ends. So, 
until pretty much all my energy is exhausted. So you see in the bottom right here, you'll see a little like 160 and then you'll see that that's pretty much energy. And that was it. That was, that was pretty much the battle. Um, not sure who won and who lost. I was still trying to figure that out guys. But uh, as you guys can see, that was hamster. I did battle it and it still has a lot of energy actually. So I'm surprised that uh, it didn't really, nothing, not, not that much stuff happened to it. So um, I guess that was it. I mean, that was a battle. So another thing that I want to mention guys that you could also dig up stuff um, and then tell your ether mount to dig, to dig. And then if you click up, for example, right here, it'll start digging. And once, once, uh, ether mount start digging, you could actually collect items. So I've been collecting like, uh, these, uh, silver tickets, these silver tickets, what they do is they, 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 a lot, they put you in a raffle and you could actually win free ether mount. So I'm not exactly sure what happened. Uh, where is ham, hamster just kind of just bounced. You'll, you'll see it right now in a second. Where are you hamster? Come over here, bro. I'm gonna call him up. Okay. It pretty much disappeared. It decided to go away. Actually, let me just call him up right here. There it is. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell it to dig. So now it's digging. So see that little green bag? Once they start digging, you get the little green, they, they pick up this little green bag. I'm gonna click on it to see what it is. And I'm gonna pick up this green little bag. Uh, come on, watch out, get out of my way, get out of my way, son. Yep, and I got a beet seed. Now, still not sure what these, you could actually plant these beets, but I'm not exactly sure um, what do you use these for. I, I'm assuming you give this to the, the ethermon and this food as energy and health. Um, I think that's how it works, uh, but that's pretty much that. So. Uh, so that's pretty much it guys. So I'm going to, I am going to log out cause it kind of slows on my browser, slows everything down. So let me log out of uh, the central land. And it, once I log out, it does save everything. So I want to make sure that it logs out. And what I want to do now, I'm going to stop sharing. So <clears throat> pretty much guys, uh, what I want to pretty much tell you guys is that not only could you train your ethermont on the ethermont website platform on the off chain and platform, but also in the on chain platform, which is the central land. Now these characters, these in NFTs, these are NFTs. You could sell them on open sea, build them up, train them, sell them on open sea for a higher value. So guys, I hope you guys learned something from this video. Don't forget to ask questions down below in the YouTube uh, comments. And again, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe down below to the YouTube channel. You guys will hear from soon. Take care, guys.